Akere Mandu wife arrested in London charged with organ harvest. The police said that the charge follows an investigation by the Metropolitan Police Specialist Crime Teams and gave some details of the accused. The London Metropolitan Police have charged two Nigerians with conspiracy to traffic a child to the United Kingdom in order to harvest organs. The law enforcement said on Thursday the accused, a woman and a man, have the same name and age as a Nigerian's former deputy Senate president, K. Ekeremandu, and his wife, Beatrice Owaneka Ekeremandu. The police said that the charges follow an investigation by the Metropolitan Police Specialist Crime Teams and gave some details of the accused as follows Beatrice Owaneka Ekeremandu, 55. At about 10 a.m. of Nigeria, is charged with conspiracy to arrange, facilitate travels of another person with a view to exploitations, namely organ harvest. The AK Akaremandu 60 at about 12 p.m. of Nigeria is charged with conspiracy to arrange a facilitate travel of another person with a view to exploitations, namely organ harvest. The investigations was launched after detectives were alerted to potential offences under modern slavery legislations in May 2022. The police said the pieces of biographical data provided matches the public available personnel data of Mr. Akere Mandu, a serving senator and a deputy senate president and his wife. From the Padora paper investigation, Plan B TV team learned that Mr. Akere Mandu is a UK resident. Mr. Akere Mandu spokesperson Hushi Anishuku has been contacted by the Plan B TV team but has yet to respond to our questions as of time of this report. However, Akere Mandu and his wife have been remanded in custody and we appeared at Osprey Magistrate. As criminal proceedings are now underway, we will now be providing further details, Met said. Well, they have been remanded in custodies and we have appeared at Osprey Magistrate Court, Met said. Furthermore, as the criminal proceedings are now underway, we will now be providing further details, Met added. While the police did not state the genders of the child, they said a child has been safeguarded and we are working closely with partners on continuing support. That was the information the Plan B TV team gathered. In case you don't really understand more, let me detail you more. Akira Mandu and his wife had four children, and one in particular is currently sick of kidney problem or let's say kidney disease. He need a kidney transplant. So he decided to pay a child. Regardless, he said the child is 15 years old. That is what the police investigated. But the passport they gave to this child stated that the child is 21 years old, which the police said is not true, according to their investigation. So they were planning to take this child to London, and getting to London, they will take this child's kidney and give to their own child to survive, who is suffering from a kidney issues or kidney disease. So this is what a deputy president, or let's say former deputy president of Nigeria did. Taking somebody's life to save his own daughter's life. The daughter of a rich man's life is more important to that of a poor man. That is what he was trying to portray to the public. I really don't know how much he gave to the parents. The investigation is still currently going on. So I wouldn't want to speak more about that aspect. But if you ask me, I don't know what to say. Thank God he was not arrested in Nigeria. If not, this case would have swept on that carpet because he has the power, he has the money. I believe that he was taking the advantage of their financial status. That's why he was able to bribe the parents. If the parents is aware, I'm saying that they want to take their child to invest their child organ. So for me, this is totally disaster. I want the law to take the full cost. What is your name? My name is Mata Uchi. You say you want to donate your kidney to the daughter of former deputy senate president, Ike Kerumadu. Why do you want to do that? I want to do that because I need to help the girl. She's dying. They've already showed me in my dream that I should help the girl. I've already seen her a long time ago. So they already showed me my dream this one. I still have the same girl. So I need to I need to do it fast. Okay, so what are you what are your demands if you are to help the lady? 
I don't have any demand for now. I just need to save the guest's life. That is the most important thing for now. Okay. Thank you. The background to this case, uh, Femi, in so far as we can report it, bearing in mind that this is heading for trial in the UK. Understood. So the defendants at this case, both the Ekaramadus, are high profile people, most especially Ike Ekaramadu, who is the former Deputy Senate President and is currently a senator um, in Nigeria, has been a senator since 2003, and it's believed that he, alongside his wife, are involved in an alleged conspiracy to bring a person from Nigeria into the United Kingdom for the purpose of exploitation. And it is believed, allegedly, that that exploitation links to organ harvesting of an underage person. It is believed that, at this point, uh, the person um, at the crux, the alleged victim, is, of course, not yet been identified, but has been classified as a child and because of that, their identity will remain uh, confidential as it pertains to the public sphere. But we weren't able to get too much information at this point. Both of the legal representatives of the defendants were the ones who explained the background of the case and uh, showed what they thought was best in terms of their own clients. However, the prosecution, who spoke at length in terms of the background, uh, did go into some details in terms of the 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 inner workings of this case, how it came to be that this alleged victim was brought into the country from Nigeria, how those documents were procured. And it is, uh, of course, as I've said many times, quite early on in this case, this is not uh, a trial as it were yet. No pleas have been entered. We did hear from the, both defendants who were arrested earlier on in the week, on in Tuesday, on Tuesday rather, they remained in custody and after bail was denied, they are going to re continue remaining in custody for the next 14 days, which will lead us to July 7th, which is when they're expected to make their next court appearance. This issue is most unfortunate. It's something that is um, uh, very disturbing to all of us in the Senate because uh, he's one of us, but more importantly is the fact that I know him to be a man of... Um, great values, a man of great strength of character, a man with very high moral foundation. Uh, but having said this, um, I think it's too, it's too early to start uh, apportioning blame as to whether he is guilty or is not guilty. All of us who are colleagues, we, we are feeling the pains. Um, we are standing with uh, Ike Goramadu on this. Uh, we will not uh, abandon him to this. Uh, effort is being made by quite a number of senators to see what we can do um, by way of giving moral support and any other support that is required. But the case, um, we want to get the full details of this case because the issues are that um, the victim was not of age, that he was below 18 years of old age. So he could not be seen to have, have the, um, the, the, the right of determining um, as to whether he could offer his uh, organs for someone else. But if he's of age, it means he knew what he was going into, and the principle of law of uh, voluntary non-fit injuria will now come into it, that he knew what he was going into as at the time he did that. Thank you very much for watching our video to the very end. If our host subscribers, thank you for always coming back to watch our videos from Facebook, from YouTube. We really appreciate everyone that are supporting us. If it's a first time of coming across our videos, why not take a moment of your time to visit our platform and follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is the only way you can support us by sharing and commenting and hearing your view about these specific videos. Until we meet again, stay tuned to Plan B TV. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified. And I see the show your support. Now say God go bless you too. On the bed. Plan B TV, Plan B TV, Plan B TV.